in the depths of time, where shadows merge with the secrets of the ancient seas, an array of enigmatic predators once roamed, their existence etched in fossils and whispers from the past. Picture a world untouched by the passage of millennia, where marine realms were ruled by creatures of unimaginable might and mystery. As we dive into the annals of prehistory, let us unlock the mysteries of these marine marvels. From the depths of oceans long past, their stories beckon us to traverse the currents of time, exploring the evolution of extinct marine predators that left their mark on the tapestry of life itself. Dunkleosteus Dunkleosteus, a colossal predator from the ancient seas of the late Devonian era about 360 million years ago, reigns as a true marvel of prehistoric history. Stretching up to 33 feet in length and tipping the scales at a whopping four tons, it ruled the underwater realm with a ferocious presence. Its bony fortress of a head was its crown jewel, a fortress that concealed a set of formidable, independently moving jaws. With slicing plates and dual sets of razor-sharp teeth, this aquatic beast was a living, breathing aquatic juggernaut. But don't be fooled by its armored exterior. The rest of Dunkleosteus's body was a masterpiece of streamlined design, with fins and scales dedicated to propelling it through the depths. This deep-sea marauder prowled the ocean floor, masterfully hunting down fish, sharks, and even nautiloids. A true oceanic apex predator, Dunkleosteus navigated the waters with unparalleled grace, boasting no natural adversaries. Its ultimate demise, a tapestry woven with threads of climate shifts and intense food chain rivalries, marked the end of an era that the world will never forget. Helicoprion Helicoprion, an enigmatic aquatic enforcer of the past, prowled the waters during the late Carboniferous to early Triassic epochs, spanning a remarkable 290 to 250 million years ago. Affectionately dubbed the Buzzsaw Shark, its moniker was earned from a jaw-dropping dental arrangement unlike anything seen before. Imagine the ancient seas reflecting the glint of a toothy whirlwind. Helicoprion's fossilized legacy reveals teeth arranged in spirals, once believed to be fragments of its dorsal fin or tail. Yet the truth was far more astonishing. These spirals were integral components of its lower jaw. A marvel of nature's craftsmanship, these teeth curved gracefully into an unbroken symmetrical whirl, a natural buzzsaw primed for ensnaring and effortlessly slicing through prey, perhaps ammonites and other unsuspecting invertebrates. While the fossil imprints tell an astonishing tale, Helicoprion's full profile remains a puzzle waiting to be solved. Its very essence, from its appearance to its habits, stirs the imagination and fuels ongoing exploration among scientists. This ancient riddle reminds us that, even in the depths of time, mysteries still swim within the shadows, ready to surprise us with revelations yet to surface. Chronosaurus Chronosaurus emerges as a captivating member of the Plesiosaurian clan. Akin to its plesiosaur kin, its neck was relatively shorter, but its defining feature lay in its awe-inspiring colossal skull. Adorned with teeth, each a staggering 10 inches long, and armed with a bite rivaling that of a crocodile, the Chronosaurus reigned as an apex predator that left few in its watery domain untouched. The name Chronosaurus itself echoes with the resonance of Greek mythology, drawing parallels to Cronus, the devourer of his own offspring a fitting moniker for a sea creature that knew no bounds in its insatiable appetite. Evidence of this aquatic leviathan's existence graced the fossil records of two distant lands, South America and Australia. Yet the whispers of its reign suggest a global dominion that spanned the ages. Size, often subject to exaggeration, played its tricks on the Chronosaurus. Blame it on the surplus of vertebrae showcased in the hallowed halls of Harvard museums. In truth, despite boasting a skull almost 8 feet in length, this Cretaceous sea titan stretched to a mere 30 feet in total, humbling its stature among the pantheon of ancient ocean behemoths. Ammonites Ammonites, ethereal inhabitants of prehistoric oceans from 60 to 65 million years ago, bear an enigmatic legacy. Their elegant coiled shells, adorned with intricate ridges and unique designs, paint a vivid picture of a vanished aquatic realm. Categorized as cephalopods, these ancient mariners housed soft, squid-like bodies within their resilient shells, a testament to nature's ingenuity in defense. Flourishing in shallow seas, ammonites spanned a spectrum of sizes, from dainty inches to sprawling three-foot diameters. The very name ammonite invokes echoes of antiquity, drawing parallels with the horns of the Egyptian deity, Ammon. These fossil treasures hold more than their fair share of secrets. They serve as chronological markers, guiding paleontologists through the annals of time. 
Their shells whisper tales of oceanic conditions long past, unveiling hints about temperature and oxygen levels. Around 65 million years ago, the curtain fell on the Ammonites' reign, coinciding with the chapter's end for the mighty dinosaurs. Yet, their lineage dances in the veins of modern cephalopods, squids, octopuses, and nautiluses, who are the torchbearers of a legacy that time could never truly quench. Megalodon. Megalodon, a shark of unparalleled might that roamed the seas from around 23 to 3.6 million years ago, stretching from the early Miocene to the twilight of the Pliocene era. This creature claims a spot amongst history's most colossal and fearsome predators. Unearthed in the 19th century, Megalodon's legacy rests on its triangular teeth scattered across the globe. These teeth, massive and iconic, led scientists to estimate Megalodon's size. Ranging from 40 to 60 feet with hints of potential for greater lengths, this predator was a true sea monster. Megalodon's menu was diverse. Whales, dolphins, and hefty fish felt its presence. With teeth growing up to 7 inches, they were perfect for grasping and tearing into sizable prey. Yet despite its bulk and reputation, Megalodon's reign concluded around 3.6 million years ago. The reasons? Likely a mix of competition for food and changes in the marine world. However, the specifics of its end remain a hot topic among scientific minds, continuing the captivating tale of this ancient sea giant. Sea scorpions. Sea scorpions, scientifically referred to as Eurypterids, constitute a cluster of prehistoric arthropods that inhabited the Paleozoic era, spanning from approximately 467 to 252 million years ago. Notably, they stand as the most colossal known arthropods to have ever existed, with select species attaining lengths of up to 8.2 feet. Informally designated as sea scorpions due to their resemblance to contemporary scorpions, Eurypterids are, in fact, not true scorpions. Rather, they belong to an extinct category of aquatic arthropods that probably thrived in both freshwater and marine settings. Eurypterids displayed a distinct bodily structure featuring two primary segments, a cephalothorax constituting the head and a lengthy segmented body equipped with a tailspine. Prominently, these creatures boasted sizable compound eyes and multiple sets of swimming legs, which are believed to have facilitated their movement in aquatic environments. Despite their considerable size, Eurypterids did not occupy the apex predator niche. Instead, they likely subsisted on relatively smaller prey such as fish and crustaceans. Regrettably, Eurypterids met their demise at the close of the Paleozoic era, alongside numerous other marine and terrestrial species as part of a mass extinction event. Trilobites Delve into the depths of history, and you'll encounter the remarkable trilobites, an eclectic assembly of marine arthropods that once thrived from the Cambrian period, approximately 521 million years ago, to the closing chapter of the Permian period, around 252 million years ago. Among the earliest recognized arthropods, they reigned supreme, boasting an astounding roster of over 20,000 documented species. These ancient mariners sported a distinctive tripartite segmented physique sheathed in a formidable exoskeleton. Their size ranged from less than a millimeter to an impressive two feet, making them a diverse bunch. Many trilobites flaunted intricate compound eyes adapted for various habitats. They also sported lengthy, multi-segmented antennae, aiding in sensing their surroundings and locating food. Trilobites were true pioneers, conquering a vast spectrum of marine landscapes, from shallow shores to the abyssal depths. In these ecosystems, they played pivotal roles as both hunters and the hunted. Some were filter feeders, while others scoured the seabed for sustenance. Their last chapter unfolded during the Permian mass extinction, a cataclysmic event about 252 million years ago. Stellar's Sea Cow Stellar's sea cow, a substantial marine giant, met an unfortunate end in the 18th century, fading into extinction. Once a vital sustenance for indigenous communities in the Bering Sea region, these creatures saw their numbers plummet with the arrival of Russian fur traders in the 1700s. Part of the same family as manatees and dugongs, Stellar's sea cows outstripped them in size, stretching up to 30 feet and weighing over 11,000 pounds. The name of these marine mammals commemorates the German naturalist Georg Wilhelm Steller, who meticulously chronicled their existence during the 1741 Great Northern Expedition. Steller's observations highlighted their durable skin and curious lack of teeth for mastication. Instead, they wielded tough lips and a grinding pad in their mouths to process kelp and other plant fare. Despite their imposing stature, Steller's sea cows were gentle giants, their sluggish nature making them vulnerable prey. 
Hunted for their meat, fat, and hides, their population plummeted from around 2,000 to a mere few hundred within decades. By 1768, a mere 27 years after their discovery, they were gone. Ichthyosaur. Ichthyosaurs, those colossal marine reptiles often referred to as fish lizards, slipped into the abyss of extinction millions of years before the cataclysmic mass extinctions took their toll. The enigma shrouding their decline lingers, but prior to their vanishing act, these creatures formed a tapestry of diversity and complexity. Within this family, some ichthyosaurs resembled eels in their sleek contours, while others mirrored the modern-day shark, becoming aquatic torpedoes that sliced through the water in relentless pursuit of their agile prey. Their proportions were staggering. Some ichthyosaurs stretched up to 85 feet in length, a feat that only the colossal blue whale could outdo. As the reigning monarch of the animal kingdom, the blue whale boasts lengths of up to 98 feet, Yet the story of ichthyosaurs remains a tantalizing enigma, an ancient mystery hidden beneath the depths of time. Despite their fate, these aquatic titans once roamed the oceans, leaving behind whispers of their past glory in the fossilized tales they etched into Earth's history.